Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today it's on dimensions and pulling quick dimension strings. Let's get started. So I'm working in Chief Architect Premier X12 on a Windows 10 PC. Um, I'm using X12 right now because that's what my client is needing. And so uh, we're trying to keep them happy. I am creating this wind bracing plan. I need to dimension walls, opening widths, and um, space between the openings. Uh, so I've got my default dimensions here. Uh, set up to locate at the wall dimension layer on the primary wall side, sides of openings, and really that's all I need to do. Um, for this layer set, what I've done is I've traced the wall, the exterior walls so that they are uh, black, and um, that way I don't have the interior. Um, I, I wonder if there's a way to do that. I wonder if there's a way to do that by layers. I'll have to think of it. I'll have to look into that and maybe that'll be another Tech Tip Tuesday. But anyway, right now what I've done is I've just traced these walls with a polyline and made the, a fill solid. But what I wanted to show you here was uh, dimensions. I can draw a manual dimension here across this wall and it's set, um, looks great. But in order to dimension out to these walls here, um, I would have to do this a couple ways. Now X12 adds a new um, a new tool with this circular grab handle at the end of the string. Uh, up till now what I've done is grab this triangle grab handle right here. So when I click on the dimension line, wherever you click, you'll see that square grab handle and the diamond one. Uh, diamond handle. The square grab handle I can grab and move the whole line away from the wall. Um, so I'm going to grab now this diamond and go drag this over to the window here. And w one by one I can add a new uh, dimensioning point to this string and now it's all one string. If I had, let's say, done that, pull that back here, I could have done it across here, done another di another uh, string, dimensioned out to here, moved this up and tried to align the strings. I don't like to do that because then it just, it gets, um, messy looking. Uh, so I'm going to just come back here again and dimension these like so. That's the long way about it. Now what about these on this side of that string? I'm now going to pull this down below the wall, the original wall, and the reason I'm doing that is because of, let's double click on the tools, this reach, 24 inches. I could extend the reach, um, say to like 8 feet, so that it recognizes it. But right now, if I just drag this circular handle out here, it's not going to recognize anything to dimension 2. If my reach were longer than 24 inches, it would um, recognize that and say that eight feet that I mentioned. But instead of changing that, I'm just going to pull it back, pull this string back to within 24 inches of this wall and grab this handle. And now it reaches to that uh, this new wall. Pull it down here and I have this little bay window as well. So quickly I can add additional points to my dimension line without having to just one at a time uh, add uh, dimension points. 
dimension points one at a time works, so to speak, um, if you've got a couple, but if I have five more, that's not a lot of fun. So there's your tech tip for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, click that like and subscribe down there. Uh, hit the notification bell and you'll get notified each week as I deliver another video. Take care. Have a wonderful week.